What's up everybody, my name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about A Madness So Discreet by Mindy McGinnis. So I'm kind of like rediscovering my love for Mindy McGinnis. Like a couple of years ago I read The Female of the Species, really loved it, and then recently I stumbled across her newest book, Be Not Far From Me, and it just uh, blew me away, loved it so much. I did a search at the library to see what all they had from her and I found this treasure trove. So I'm very excited to dive more deeply into the rest of her books and A Madness So Discreet is one that really caught my attention because I love insane asylums. I love setting. I, I love everything about this. So it just really grabbed my attention. So Amanda So Discreet is following a girl named Grace. She is sent to a mental hospital when she gets pregnant out of wedlock. She's there until she delivers the baby and then she'll be returned back home. Everything will be fine. It's all kept very hush hush. But here's the thing. Um, it's actually her father's baby. Her father is extremely abusive and she does not want to go home. And she's not crazy. She's not insane, but she is harboring a lot of like resentment and like, you know, she really wants to see, you know, like violence come to her father and like all this kind of stuff. So it is like this interesting turning of emotions that's going on with her. And one of the doctors at this mental hospital decides that he's going to help her because he doesn't want to see her be returned home to this monster. So he pretends to perform this operation on her and then says like, oh, like she's brain dead, now she's mute, blah, blah, blah. I'll just take her with me and it'll be fine. So they go off to another asylum where she's going to be his assistant as he is investigating a series of murders. This was really cool. It was very like Sherlock Holmes-esque, you know, like he is trying to delve more deeply into the criminal mind and what's going on here. And Grace is very observant and it was really interesting the types of details that she would take in and it was also interesting because she was given this like newfound freedom. Everybody around her thinks that she's mad. They think that she can't talk. So, you know, they would let things slip around her and she could really like observe things and be immersed in it. And she really found that she was able to move through the world very differently than the way that she was brought up. With Minnie McGinnis, all of her books are focusing very much on like the feminine experience. Her books do deal with sexual assault. They do deal with what happens when you're not believed like all this kind of stuff so I really liked exploring with Grace like this horrible violence had been done to her and then she goes and she's in this insane asylum but we're discovering that like these other women here they're not really insane either like people got thrown into asylums for all kinds of random just dumb stuff like you, there's this list that was going around online a while ago and one of them was like excessive book reading so like I would have been a mental asylum and that's totally fine but she meets these girls who just are very normal and what we're finding is that insane versus sane it doesn't really like like have a meaning, all that it means is that some people are not playing by society's rules. I really loved exploring this and I really loved being able to see Grace like come back from this trauma that had been done to her. She really pieces herself back together and like Dr. Thornhollow is really trying to get her to like return to the Grace that she was before and she's like that's not me anymore. I don't want to be that person. I want to be this new person that I'm figuring out and I want to, you know, like I don't want to return to this world that I knew. I'm in a completely different place now and I love that she was given the room to do that. I really love the murders that they investigate. There is a really cool plot that like really gets kicked up in the last part of the book. Pacing wise, I would say it's a little bit meandering. Like while there is this thread of murders that they're investigating, it's not really about that. It's about grace. Like, like living in this mental asylum. So if you're really wanting something that's very plot heavy, it doesn't really get kicked into gear until like probably the last third of the book, which didn't bother me because I was just so into the story, into the characters really loving it. But if you're not, I could see that this book would be a little bit slow, um, which I have seen as a critique from Mindy McGinnis's writing. So she is definitely more focused in on like what's going on internally than she ever is focused on like this plot or these threads that are being weaved here. Although I did particularly really like the ending and I, the climax was really great. So I really recommend this book. I'm giving it an A+. I absolutely adored it. And I'm really excited to read more from Mindy McGinnis. So definitely check it out. Be wary, might be a little bit slow for you, but I really, really loved it. And honestly, I really want to read it again. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every week. That is everything I got for today. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.